Hi, is this Slime Dog? Topo. And Legendary John. And today we're playing Dragon's Lair. Uh, we're playing it on the PS4 Dragon's Lair Trilogy Collection, but this is the first Dragon's Lair game, Dragon's Lair 1, which is uh, one of the first uh, FMV Laserdisc games uh, with in arcades back in 1983, and it's super fun. Uh, in fact, when I say we, I mean Junk is going to be playing Dragon's Lair uh, pretty much. Now, you played it before, like, once-ish? One quarter, right? Well, maybe I put a few quarters in. I remember, like, trying it and then immediately dying yep. and then just watching like <laughs> trying to figure out what like what you're supposed to do there you go that's dragon's lair <laughs> so now in this one you go ahead and, and hit x right. um and no hit triangle we're gonna pick out what kind of game we want to play here right. um bump the lives up to five that'll save you from, uh leave those guys on and uh for the mode arcade cabinet uh go to um the home mode yeah turn the, leave the arcade cabinet off Home mode and then difficulty. Yeah, we'll just do easy. Now the difference, by the way, between arcade and home mode is uh, on arcade mode. Uh, originally, when you played it in the arcades, it literally randomly put you in a different room every time you died, and you just kept on bouncing all over the castle uh, until you hit a certain point where you started dying too much. In home mode, you have to keep doing the same level over and over until you get it right. But it's a lot easier doing the same level five times to figure yeah. out what the pattern is than getting random levels. And, and easy just gives you a little bit more time on the timing and things like that. And, of course, Butterscotch joins us. Of course. Yeah, well, she, she loves, she's a big fan of Dragon's Lair. Is she? Um, yeah, all you have is, and you can, I think you can use the D-pad, too, if you don't want to use the stick. But either way, analog sticks are the D-pad, and then the X for the square. And really what you're looking for is there's, uh, in the middle of the screen, there's going to be, like, a, a, a icons for, this. basically the whole game is more or less an extended quick time event. Um, right. So, yeah, um... I played through this a couple nights ago. It's crazy fun. Oh, this is the bridge sequence. Yeah. There you go. Did you get it? You got it. So there you go. And now it tells you where to go. If you play through the other mode, you only get that scene in, in home mode, actually. Um, in arcade mode, you never get that scene. Don't. All right. Well, there was an arrow. Now you know what the arrows look like. And they always show up in that area. They don't... Um, in the original arcade game, it flashed on the area where you had to press towards... But now that I'm playing through it with this one, with the kind of exact timing overlay, I realized that uh, the um, the timings on the original were actually kind of off. Like, sometimes it flashed before, sometimes after. Um, yeah, it's this thing really was a quarter sucker. Oh, nope, you had it twice, apparently. Did it twice? Yeah, you see the arrow flashes a second time after you did it, so... What? Oh my God, you're already <clears throat> down to two lives already from five. That's okay. It's got infinite continues. Yeah, no, I like, get that, but wow. wow. Yeah, this, this is a harsh game. This one was yeah. really hard when I played through it on Sega CD a million years ago. Because it didn't have the little prompts. It didn't you. have the prompts. No prompts, so you had to just know this. Straight stuff. memorization. Oh my gosh, that was painful. Let's see, it's always the same arrows and the same timing. Oh, all right. uh, although sometimes, Yay. and there you go, that's the board. All right. Yay! Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, what was that's I supposed harsh. To... Uh, there was the arrow there. there. So it's pressing up, I think. Oh, up. Mm -hmm. oh, there it is. Okay. Now, it's... now right. this game was made in 1983 by Don Bluth. He's uh, an ex-Disney animator. And uh, he did a lot of fun oh. movies like um, Road to El Dorado and, and some of those uh, kind of... I don't think he did Road to El Dorado. He nope. Did, uh, okay. He did like Secret of Nim. Yes, yeah, Secret and... of Nim. God, I love that movie. It really traumatizes you. Yeah, um, like a lot of his movies. Because ah! <laughs> it's a left or right. You gotta be doing too. Also, uh, and I don't know if they're gonna make us redo it. Yeah, you can just hit X to continue. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if it's gonna make us do the levels in both like regular and mirrored version. But if you play through in the other mode, you have to do them like kind of both left and right facing. Whoa! So pretty much all the levels. Whoa! Uh, oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, There's a left. Yeah. <laughs> no, I saw it, but and I thought I hit it. Shall we Apparently get you not. another Mountain Dew? You gotta get some, get some action on this. No, he's doing fine. I know. I, this is seriously crazy. Dying with Ah, right. Oh, nice. Right? Oh. Right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's not like yeah. at this point I'm just yeah. watching the thing now. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Actually... You I'm do a like... lot better if you don't actually watch the animation. And on the upside, we're recording this, so you can go back and watch yeah. it at your leisure. So yeah. there's also the mode that you mentioned before we started recording of oh, 
can just watch right. movies, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That is an option on this version. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Now, oddly, the version of this game that I played the most was the Commodore 64 version back when I was a kid. Nice. Obviously, it did not have cool laser disc graphics. It had this whole thing. Basically, all the moves in a lot of these scenes reproduced with really crappy-looking sprites. So, yeah. It, it kind of lost something. It, it, like, if you don't have the cool laser disc animation, then, like, really, what do you have? <laughs> so, that said, I played the heck out of that game. I think I beat it. Wow. So yeah, you're you're back sword, back sword, and then you have yeah. to dash to the door. Once you get through the door, you can do See? another sword. Yeah, it's up kind sword, of... up sword. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Up sword. And then, there we go. And then another sword. Mm -hmm. oh. Must have this like memorized. Wait, well, played it a couple nights ago. <laughs> yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't that long, but at the same time, it's amazing. Like some levels, like the Black Knight level, I like, I kind of muscle memory yeah. my way through the whole thing. <laughs> no! I missed that one. You actually have three chances on that one. So really, yeah. If you if you miss the first one, just wait for it to drop down to the next floor. Does it matter whichever one you hit? I don't think it does in this. Mm. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Wow. You can see the real, yeah, you can, the animation of this. Is uh, like... It does have pretty cool animation, I gotta say. I really, I really dig the animation style on it. I also, having just also played Space Ace and Dragon Slayer 2 all the way through, I gotta say, I, I do like the format on the first one more. Um, it's all very short, tiny rooms. On Space Ace and Dragon Slayer 2, like, it was long, really extended sequences of, you know, maybe 20 button presses in a row to get through a level. Right. And it was pretty painful. On I, this I one, it's... see how it would be, like, very... Uh, yeah, oh, no. yeah. Did you make it? You got it. Holy cow. Uh, you got two chances like, for this oh one uh, on the spinny oh. thing. So if you miss the first one, wait a second, and then do the second one. All right. There you got you it. You got it. Now swords. Well, sword. What? I didn't miss. <laughs> Boy, they're very strict about this. Weird huh? red floaty guy begs to differ. Yeah. <laughs> and then, after you hit him with the this. sword, you're going to be pressing down a little bit. Like, it's one or two downs. But it's a pretty short one. Doesn't he look cool, though? Like, see? It's like, kinda... all, like, this is like... Was this ever a cartoon? Yes, it was, actually. Uh, a year or two after the game came out. They did um, a Hanna-Barbera cartoon with it that actually incorporated a choose-your-own-adventure kind of mis uh, mechanic to it, where, um, like, when it went to commercial breaks, it would be like, if you think Dirk the Daring should climb the ladder, then this is what would have happened when it comes back, and, like, he dies. And it's like, but if you said go through the door, this happened, and that worked out fine. Oh, that's cool. It was a really, I really enjoyed it. it they didn't make many episodes of it, but I thought it was really fun. Um, but it seems like one of them cheated at one point. It was like, you pick one or the other, but then it was like, if you pick either one of those, you were wrong. But if you pick this third thing that I didn't even make a choice, then that's what happened. And I'm like, that is, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, like seven-year-old Steve wasn't having any of that. And like, the video they, looks so crisp on this. They really did a good job of remastering it, I guess. Like, it's weird because, like, the death scenes are, like, graphic, as in, like, you know what happened, but mm -hmm. it's, like... Yeah, but it's still kind of kid-friendly. It's not, like, oh, yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. horrifying. Yes. Well. Oh, these oh, guys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Giddy goons. I think I've got an action figure of them. I'm actually a really big fan of Dragon Slayer. In spite of the fact that... I only beat Dragon Slayer 2 last week. I've got a, a Daphne figure hanging on my wall. Well, I'm pretty sure what what person who didn't play this in the arcade doesn't have a Daphne figure. It was pretty formative, I gotta say. She's uh, distracting. And at first I was like, boy, I can't believe when I was a kid. I must have thought that... No, they went full Jessica Rabbit with her. Like, we'll see if we get to the dragon here. Oh, we're gonna make it to the dragon. <laughs> We are, the rate you're going. Like You're probably halfway through it. Yeah, I'm like... I'm gonna beat this. Good. Awesome. 
It's actually so much more fun when I beat it. I wasn't watching the animation at all. It was... Oh no! Oh, I, th I wanted oh, to see him kill the spiders, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and then like it disappeared. This one's got quite a few button presses. Yeah, I mean. Man, I can tell you, like, this would have been, like, really annoying in, like, the arcade. Oh my god, right? Like, how poor would you have been if you tried to beat this in the arcade? And then Again, just imagine, like, a goofy the... yell right there. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Hey, weird. I don't know. She's, she likes Dragon Slayer. I don't know. She likes Like, this is such a weird room. Like... Like, a lot of... I love the art Yay. style with it, but, like, it's got so many bizarre elements. No! Oh, no! I'm not sure how you went from raised pedestal to falling, falling off the death, cliff. But, you know. He fell backwards. Oh, yeah, we'll say that. If you're going for the trophies in this game, there's a couple of levels where you have to, like, die in peculiar ways uh, that you're kind of, like, hard to get to, so... It's kind of fun to actually do the platinum of this one if you... Well, pseudo-plot, I guess. There you go, you're through. I mean, through that level. Here's the Black Knight. Uh, I love this one. Okay, this area is kind of neat. Yeah, right? Like, like the animation in this looks really... Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, like, the timing on that's... Like, you have to do a while it, yeah, it's jumping. Yeah, it, it's back and then forth. Yeah, yeah. It, the, that last one is, is right next to each other. Seriously, I think it was 4 a.m. when I finally beat this thing on the Sega CD. Oh, and the best part is Sega CD, like, the video quality is so, like, jacked that I couldn't tell what was going on half the time. It's just really pitifully low res. This, this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It finally has its day. It really does. You'll notice in the top corner, no, not you, John, you're watching Arrows, but uh, it's got a life counter and a little digital score thing up at the top, which is kind of fun. I believe uh, last time we went to Free Play Florida, I thought the record was Alright. Which is sort of a weird record to have. I would assume you just have to do the game perfect, right? But. Probably in the middle of the This is a lot of swords and ups. Ah! Oh, Mudman. Oh, my gracious. I mean, well, the arcade game is harder, so it's probably, like, you probably just have to have, like, a really good starting spot. But yeah. Does it always start you in the same area? No, it, it, yeah, it always starts you in the same area. Or if it's random, I think it's between one of two areas. But yeah, basically, it's the same thing, the same thing through every time. In the arcade? In the arcade, yeah. I mean, it, it goes through a random sequence, but it's the same random sequence. I see. Like, in the arcade, like, every time you die, it takes you to another room, which really prevents you from learning to get through it. Right. Although, if you, like, die enough, eventually it'll start repeating the levels so that you have a shot. <laughs> but still, it's like a hundred dollars, I think, if you wanted to try to beat this game. Like, I don't know how you do it. Especially since the, the built-in blinks are not accurate. Right. Yeah. Now, this game cost a little over a million dollars to make, which was, like, crazy expensive for that time. Nowadays, you're like, a million dollars? That's not the catering budget for EA. Yay! All right, made it through that. That's one of the harder ones, even though it's just ups. <laughs> And swords, occasionally. Ah, oh, uh, we are doing one of the mirrored ones. So it might make you redo a couple of the levels in reverse. Oh. Alright. So, the platform, the horse level, uh, the spinning ball, red guy. Horse? Oh, we haven't seen marbles yet. I'm not sure if picking different. Oh, yeah, this guy. I'm not sure what? if picking different doors will drop you in different rooms or not, but you still have to play through all the rooms to clear it. Oh, that oh, last, no, one the is, last one is. That last one is particularly BS. The timing is different on it. Actually, it's not like 
Because it's like one, two, and then that one I think you go early, I think. Uh oh. That, and it makes it really hard to see the arrow when it's like oh, on yellow. a yeah. background yellow, of yellow, yellow fire. Yay! All right, there Yay! You go. Nice. Oh, God. Reverse force. Dang it. <laughs> I hate this one. <laughs> frustrating as this is, imagine playing Dragon Slayer 2 and you get through like 23 moves in a row and then you buy it right before the end. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a shame because the animation's actually better. Like the video's better, the scenes are cooler because they're longer. There's actually dialogue and music and such. But oh my gosh, it is an exercise in frustration. I guess you can always do the... Watch the game. Watch the game. Watch the I strongly recommend watch the game. It's actually really cool to check out. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Kick that door open. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, it's the second. Where'd the fire come from? Also, it's sort of like, you know, these things are to be expected. This look of disappointment is intriguing. Oh, constantly. That's what motivates you to put in more quarters, is you don't want to let poor Dirk down. I, I just like how he's like... Like, the look of disappointment, and then he dies. Yeah. <laughs> He's like... His last thought Damn is, it. really? Why? This is on you. <laughs> See, it's, it's the other way. It's, it's mirrored, so... Save me! frequently are. I don't know. I'm a big fan. I guess, you know, I mean, that's what part of what makes it fun. Yeah. So this is our third falling one. I didn't know that was a thing. Here's oh, the what? marbles. Come on. What is this? A lot of downs, and then up at the end. Oh my. Yeah. I made this when I was a kid with a Quaker Oats tub and a bunch of marbles and a G.I. Joe figure. Nice. Yeah. It wasn't quite the oh, same. Oh, there's the down. I love this whole geometric shapes and grid pattern thing. It shows up a bunch in this game, and it also shows up in some of the later ones, too. You see this sort of a running theme in Space Ace also, but it, it's... I don't know. I just dig it. I I Disco wonder, Tron. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm, I'm curious if... Like, because obviously this is heavily influenced by animators slash Luth, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm curious, like... Up now. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I was chatting. No, that's fine. I, I'm just curious if this sort of style, this pattern style, has, like, you know, there's some sort of a, a little secret rule about, oh, you put these in when you want to portray this, or... I'm sure it's the secret of skilled animating. That's what I'm know. saying. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm curious because there's like if this one's like a, a very you know classic animator. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's literally oh, like the awesome. it's the same exact animation. They just yep. color it differently, which precisely. That that's impressive. It helps on. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. It's the exact same thing, mm -hmm. just. And then they just they just mirror it every every scenes, so. Yeah. All right, now it's not. There we go. You got it. Yay! Woo! Got the winning uh, Oh, this guy. What? He's Wait, kind he of a here. What? dink. What? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, a lot of back and forth. No, but I couldn't see the arrow. I never saw the arrow. Yeah, I yeah. With a lot it's of easy to miss them. Backgrounds. But I kind of like it because it also means the arrows are kind of unobtrusive. Yeah. Like, oh, I see, because you're following the sword. Yeah, you're trying to get your sword that's stuck on the gold pot. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like trying to. I was like trying to figure out like how would you figure that out in like. Oh. 
Here's my favorite oh. part. He actually gets some loot on the way out, so kudos to Dirk. Actually, collecting treasures is a big part of Dragon's Lair 2, but less so in this one. <laughs> Yeah, I've dodged that anvil too, mister. Okay, That's a wise choice, right? <laughs> what? I really do like the whole, like, kind of full-body emotion he does. Like, he's very expressive right. in his movements. Oh, hey, is this... The fair... I think this is actually the first level, like, or, like, in the demo. Like, this is the mm. first thing that he shows. That sounds right, he's yeah. He's like a snake. Yeah. Because that's gonna make you pop quarters. Well, yeah. You just see him like swinging swords and snakes. Kids are like, oh, this looks awesome. Mm -hmm. And then they do it, and they're like, I don't get what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, they made, well, I guess Don Blue specifically, or, or uh, Cinematronics is the name of the studio, made three of these games based on kind of Western animation. But they did a whole bunch based on Japanese animation, too. Well, at the same time, you know, primitive, like earlier stuff. So there was one based on Lupin the Third that they called Cliffhanger. Really? Um, and they made one. Uh, Time Gal Rico in Japan. It was released here as a, as Time Gal. Was a really really fun one, and they, they had a whole bunch of them kind of along those lines. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. No, I only uh, knew about I the CD. I only knew about this, and then the second one in Space Ace. Yeah, those are the only ones that got released here, and they're probably the biggest. Truthfully, this was the first by a long shot. Uh, the rest of them came out later. Um, Time Gal was actually pretty fun and playable, and very similar to this, just with a cute little green haired girl starring in it. Um, but yeah, there was there was a whole bunch, and, and yeah, they'd reuse the animation from from known anime, so they wouldn't have to redo the whole thing from scratch. Um, the only thing I remember about the one for Lupin was it had four buttons, one for like each hand and one for each foot. It was exceptionally awkward. Wow, that sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah, this one in reverse. That's okay. I think you're almost done. There's not too much more to go. You've been through each of the levels once. I think you're almost at the dragon. All right. And clearly, you've been practicing. <laughs> in reverse. In reverse. Well, this is new. Oh, right. See, know. it flashed to your left, but you had to press up. That's what well, I mean. It was. Uh, it pressed up. It was like up, was it? No, no, the arrow flashed up, but the 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 cue from the video game, the arcade game, if you were playing this in the arcade, was telling you to go to the left, oh, and that would well, get you killed. Well, no, I see. I see what it is because it's forward for him, yes. but it's on the left for you. Oh, it's straight up bunk. <laughs> this thing like sucks yeah. quarters. Uh. Yeah, but that's also like you had to pay back that one million dollar budget somehow. Right? Yeah, seriously, or the two thousand dollar laser disc player that was in every single cabinet. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so they released Dragon Slayer for about every system known to man, and generally, I think kind of the single defining characteristic of them. Oh my god was that, it, like, the earlier sprite-based ones actually all had really cool graphics and animation. Um, right. Like, Except the NES the... version, like, it actually looked really good for a NES game. Like, it had yeah. super smooth animation. Um, the Game Boy one was, like, some of the best graphics on Game Boy. Um, there was and, a Game Boy one? Yeah, black and white Game Boy. It had oh. nothing to do with this mm -hmm. game, though. It's like, I think it was a... It must have been a reskin of some oh, other... No. Oh, I've never uh, seen that one. Wow. wow. That's no, that's because I hit left, up. Left and yeah, I accidentally hit up instead of left. Oh, I didn't even know that was an option. That's cool. Um, yeah, it, the plot was, like, bizarre. You were trying to reanimate some gigantic knight or something like that. But huh. I, I suspect it was just a reskin of some Japanese game they already had, but it had good graphics. Huh. And it was really hard. That was the other thing. It seemed like they're all really flippin' hard. Still. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, game. kids today. Yeah, right? It built character. These, with all these saves. Like this, see? Everything. Can you feel that character this. junk? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> That's okay. Wait till you see Daphne. That makes it all work. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Woo! And uh, this wow. again. again? This is the fourth time! Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, it, it gets faster every time! 
You know, actually, when I played it, I didn't do the home version, so maybe this is normal for the home version. Okay, and those are the reversed ropes. Uh -oh. First try. Uh, uh. <laughs> You're like, am I supposed to go drink that? Wait a minute. What? That's what the sign says. The sign also says a filthy liar. And that's the easiest room in the game. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Eat boulders. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. So you're not actually supposed to push anything there? No, at that point, yeah. You no, know, like, my guess is that if, like, it was, like, if you immediately pushed anything, that it would, like... Kill you? It might have. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, this this is all back and forths. Oh, except for the middle parts up. Yeah, sorry. Ah! I just did that on purpose. Yeah. Look at you. Uh -huh. Look yeah, the day. rapids are up, but the uh, the whirlpools and the first one, the boulders are left and right. Oh ice. wow! Like this is the. Did like, you have to do the whole thing mm -hmm. over? Yeah. Oh. Man. I like how you're in grape soda. Then yeah, you have right. Some orange crush. I know. Now I'm thirsty. <clears throat> I don't know what the next soda is. I'm pretty sure kayaking was like this. Okay, what was like this? Kayaking. Ta-da! Yeah. Whirlpools! Or ye whirlpools. Rope, and then you gotta make a. Oh no! <sighs> right, sorry. But that was the last bit. You do that, and you got it. You said that like five bits ago. Well, I mean the last bit on this yeah. level. I see. Oh, that's what it is. Of the level is what you're saying. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh! Get it through, through. So then I have. So what you're saying is mm -hmm. that then I'm gonna have to do another. Grape. Uh, orange. I don't know if this if they do this reversed or not. I don't think they do. This is probably the longest level, and it's not that bad because the repeated back and forths make it uh, or ups make it easier to kind of get the timing down. And it's and I see how you can figure it out too because you wait until he's like on like the other. Actually, no. On this one, like when he crosses over that line, that dividing line is that's how I do it. Yeah, no, like... Like, as soon as he hits that line between the two colors. Yeah. But I feel like they were trying to make you think it was the other color, and that's how they get you. It's like he yells or He's like... I like the weird laser blaster noise that occurs every now and then for no reason. No, it's it's like I think that's when you're uh, done with an area, not when you're actually complete with the level. Okay, I think that's gonna be right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You got it. Oh, okay. This isn't the dragon. This is close. To the electric cage room. What the hey? Wow. What? <laughs> that was. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm sure you weren't that part. Oh god, don't do that. <laughs> Who built this place? Is this a real Dr. It's like, villain? It's, I mean, it's Dr. Really fast. Dr. James Bond villain. Yes. Singe the dragon is apparently really big into diabolical death traps. Blowfield? Blowfield. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We had our Blofeld cat here two seconds ago. That's true. I was there. holding her like the there Blofeld cat there the other day. Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> like you knew that was gonna happen. Well, no, because it like it does like the noise, the yeah. hack noise. Yeah. See. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, beautiful. Yeah, great. So that means, like, when I replay it, like, they'll be able to hear me matching the up button. <laughs> yeah, like, up, 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 up. And it's weird. Sometimes, if you hit up at the wrong time, it'll kill you. So, like, on some levels, you can mash, like, tap like crazy. 
And on others, you really you have to actually get the timing, which was especially frustrating when you don't have the arrows. Oh, oh, you have multiple oh. chances for it too. <laughs> well, that would have been good to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, I always got the first try. <laughs> well, excuse. <laughs> I deserve that glare of death. <laughs> Excuse me, Master Dragon's Lair. <sighs> wow, my score is <laughs> really low. Oh, dude. Well, it restarts. Like, how like hardcore do you have to be to get through this whole game on one set of lives? Oh my God. That's why it's uh... oh. ah, I what are you That's say why like... that's a left, but you gotta get it like, oh, early. Oh like all oh. the button presses on this are early, I think. You know, you're getting close to the end. Oh, oh my great. Right. Oh, back so this to this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. What the? Hey. <laughs> I gave you like four tries, too. <laughs> I don't think there's any left or rights here, so what's the point of reversing this level? Maybe there's a one at the end, I don't know. We'll see. So it's all hand drawn then. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is a nut see see kids. Yeah. This is this is what this is old school. Builds character. Yeah. Uh, see, apparently like that's why they don't do it that way anymore, because it's more expensive to do hand drawn. Oh yeah. It is definitely Absolutely. more expensive. You know they made a dragon's layer for the um oh. the diamond killed me. Oh. <laughs> Evil diamond. Oh, this part, yeah. Um. What? Oh, I remember this level. <laughs> Holy cow! I had a really what hard time with this level, apparently. Um. Yeah. They made a uh. uh kind of a GameCube Xbox, original Xbox generation uh, version of Dragon's Lair 3D, which it's was kind of Dragon's Lair redone in polygons, you know, so it looked, and while it looked pretty, like, as a as a 3D platformer, and, um, oh, it looked cool, I never actually got around to playing it, I should probably give that one a shot sometime. So I can give an idea. Yeah, God knows, if I subjected myself to the Game Boy one, I might as well at least play. Right? Something that's decent. Hmm. Oh. I like this is another level in the ship. I like how he like calmly just like walks past it after yeah. I hit the sure. button. Well, yeah. he, after after all the after all the, sh the stuff he's seen, like you know, he's 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 done it all. This is another double up. Is, it, is this one reversed? Did you do this one before? No, I mean. Oh, a double up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. It is. Holy cow. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is the reversed Black Knight. Black Knight really had it coming. That like wind up he takes takes forever. Oh, sorry about this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy electric floor stuff. Sure. sure. That's like half the levels is electric floor stuff. Yeah. Well, it's really easy to animate. See, they draw like the big <laughs> map background thing, and then they can just do like a single color over top. So it's yeah, you know. that's true. <laughs> Is. Thankfully, this isn't a long sequence either. Yay! Oh, you're safe. Oh. Not safe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's the lights. dragon. There we go. Last level, folks. Oh. Oh wow, that was quick. Yeah. Oh, you woke up real fast. Yeah. If, you, if this stuff tips light, over. Light. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. Block that one, and you'll have to do another one here in a sec. Uh, 
sweet. Yeah, after like a 30 second cutscene, it gives you like a half a, half a second to push the button. Yeah. Honestly. And there's. It's one of the longer ones, too, so. You get. Save me. Here's Did all the dialogue in the game. With the key. God. The dragon. Yeah, right. Around his neck. This is totally Roger Rabbit. Play the dragon. Use the magic sword. The sword's uh, over there. With a little finger down. At the end? That was it. Right. You beat Dragon's Lair. Sweet. What was the key? It's like, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. No, it was like. <laughs> and even the cat's excited. <laughs> Dirk, Dirk is quite excited. Already. There you go. And then it's got a Hall of Fame, which apparently didn't record my score. Piece of junk. All right. Let's see. Piece of junk. <laughs> Dude, nice. Congrats. All right. Oh, it did not put oh, one of that. my scores in there. Dude, I had more than 12,000. Oh, who's the master now? You're the master. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. What do you think? Was it was it everything you'd hoped it could be? I tell you yeah. that, that having, <laughs> having those arrows certainly help. And you can always yeah. go back and watch it like <clears throat> Oh, let's see. You can go, always go back and watch it later. They've got the, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can do all the stuff. And it's got fun stuff in here. The, the attract mode is that demo that you were talking about that it showed you when you, like, you sat around and watched it play forever. Yeah, me too. But watch game. And the cool thing about watch game is you can actually turn, you can actually watch it with or without deaths. So you can oh. turn the deaths on and watch it and see all of the death animations of the game too. Oh, so that's it funny. really is a nice kind of comprehensive. Kind of fun, it shows really you all of the ends. It shows you all of them except for I don't think it shows you the entrance room uh, with the bridge that first one right, you went to. Right. I think that only shows up on. Um, uh, it, since it only does the home version of that, it doesn't show up on this mode for some reason. So then, so that the room with the drink. So is that like an actual room where yeah. it, like it just it takes forever but you can make it through, or is it where it's like it doesn't matter what you do in that room if you don't immediately leave then you're gonna? No, it matters. Like if you press up to drink the drink, you'll die. Um, okay. But there is actually a little Easter egg in this one. If you die a bunch in this room, or if you lose your last life basically, uh, and and stern. Dirk drops down and turns into a skeleton. He drops down in front of the background of the room, but it's an earlier version of the background, and instead of drink me, it says eat me, and it's sticking in like a loaf of bread. Um, oh. So, but they changed it to drink me for the actual game itself. But you can still see the eat me part there. And obviously they changed it from eat me because clearly kids are playing this and like, yeah. <laughs> Simpsons hadn't come out yet. Yeah, no, but no. back in the, what'd you say, 83? 83. Yeah, eat me. <laughs> I think it was, that was totally <laughs> good enough, yeah. But yeah, the interviews are fun. The draw Dirk, it's it's got a bunch of fun little um, um, extras in here. It's yeah, it's literally uh, Don fun. Bluth uh, showing you how to draw Dirk the Daring. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah, it's a fun little animation episode. The next I'm gonna do has Apparently, the Don Bluth animation work. studio, where you could do an online animating class with him, was one of the high level Kickstarters for uh, Kickstarter awards when he was trying to pitch the Dragon's Lair movie. Which I think bombed on Kickstarter, but he had a successful Indiegogo with it later. Oh. So, that was like four years ago, so no idea where the status of that is. But And there you go. Okay, well, that's Dragon Slayer. And a relatively concise... As concise as you're going to get without actually 
like, like doing just watching the there game and not doing yeah. yeah just doing watch game <laughs> but it's really fun and it does hold up and by the way this trilogy version of it is by far the most playable version I've ever seen so if you do want to check out Dragon's Lair get this one as this opposed to some of the more retro ones um, PS4, PS4 um, I uh, I think on the the store the PSN store digital. Um, I think it's also for Switch, and they, they did a Wii version of it, too. Okay. Is it on the PC? Uh, probably. It must be. I would think. But I mean, heck, not. it's actually on DVD, like, unaugmented <laughs> DVD, so it's on right. a lot of different systems. Yeah, so. but this version. This particular version is, is PS4. I don't know if all the features are on the PC one or not, but yeah, there's a Dragon's Lair trilogy on PC. Alright. Alright, well, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye.